If you always wanted to get one of the Metatron t-shirts but you couldn't afford it, well now is the time. On the 5th and 6th of September there will be a 20% off all shops on Teespring, including the Metatron shop. Enter this coupon code and enjoy your shopping. Hey Noble Ones, good to see you here. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you will have noticed that I have a blatant obsession for armor. Now normally on my channel I talk about classical times armor, pre-modern armor, medieval knights, samurai armor, but I've got to say that I also love modern day armor. So I've decided on my channel to start talking a little bit, uh, occasionally, about modern day armor and that's what we're doing today. We're going to have a look at this. Okay, so to start, what is this? Well, to simplify things a little bit, we can divide modern day armor into sort of categories. We've got overvests and we've got undervests. Now, this is clearly an overvest, so it's sort of armor that is worn over your clothing, whereas as opposed to undervests, which are normally worn underneath your clothing. So this is the sort of armor that, for example, uh, police officers, anti-terrorist units, tactical units, but also bodyguards and private security working in industry would wear. Now, before people start freaking out on me and filling the comments with questions, is it legal to own something like this, to own a vest like this? Well, uh, it, it really very much depends on the country where you're from. Uh, each country has got its own regulations on body armor, modern day body armor, so you should definitely check out uh, how the law works in your country. As far as Italy is concerned, where I live, you can legally own a vest. This is, in fact, a true vest, the exact same vest used by anti-terrorist tactical units in Italy. However, you're not allowed to own the plates. So, is this one empty now? No, it does contain plates, but they are movie props, okay, that I had specifically filled, uh, made sort of, and, and filled this with, because I'm going to make, and that's the reason why I bought this, is not only because I love armor, but it's also because I'm making a sort of drama TV series about time travel, don't want to spoil it too much, but I'm going to use that, so it does contain the plates, but they have no ballistic protective capability. In Italy, I am not allowed to uh, buy ceramic plates or steel reinforced plates. Uh, if you're in America, I'm sure you are in the UK. I believe you are, but I don't want to speak, I mean, you do need to check with the local government policies. Also, for, as far as the strap is concerned, well, um, I have this again because I'm making a movie. Uh, however, um, I can't go around with this. I, I can't go outside with this wearing the straps. I would have to remove it like this and then and then I can wear this. Um, so uh, I will use this only for uh, shots for, for the movie I'm making that I will take either inside, uh, in, like in my home or in someone's home, or in private property. But I can't go around wearing police stuff, uh, at least in Italy. Now to give you a little bit of extra context here, we can also further divide armor into soft body armor and hard body armor. And clearly different body armor protects against different kinds of bodily harm. When we say soft armor, we usually mean armor made of a fabric-like material with extreme strength, such as, for example, Kevlar, Spectra, Tuaron, etc. Although it is flexible and easy to wear, soft body armor is not as strong as its hard counterpart. Soft armor should stop pistol caliber ammunition, but it's generally not rated to protect the wearer against rifle caliber shots. Now, when talking hard body armor, basically we're talking about an armor that consists of a soft armor shell, like this one, situated with metal plates. So, these plates can be made of ballistic steel or ceramic. Now, in general, even when you buy armor in a state where you can legally own protective plates, the vest will be sold to you without plates, and then the user decides which plates to purchase and integrate. Hard body armor is rated to protect its user from high caliber rifle ammunition, and it's the most common kind of body armor used in tactical situations. So this is a ballistic vest or bullet resistant vest. You probably know this item as bulletproof vest. I'd like to underline though that this is not a stab proof vest this is not a stab vest because they also exist and they specialize on protecting you from uh, either cutting uh, implements or puncturing implements and sometimes both and of course you can have a vest which protects you from both pistol fire and um, for example spikes and uh, cutting implements but clearly the price range will increase you understand now the way i like looking at it is that i like thinking that basically a modern day hard armor is the equivalent of medieval plate armor in our day and age because if you think about it well this gives you as we said grants you better protection 
than a soft armor which we could compare to for example a gambeson which already does protect you from some sort of weapons of the time but of course not against the most sophisticated uh, weapons of the time and that's the si similar situation a soft vest can protect you from pistol fire but it will not protect you from higher caliber weapons so uh, and, and again another similarity between medieval cuirasses and body modern day body armor is that you can put them together you can wear a if fact to, to maximize protection in our day and age you will wear you you can wear a, a hard armor and a soft armor conjunct in conjunction together you can do that and of course they did in medieval times as well so we're dealing with an item of personal armor that protects the body from firearm projectiles that is achieved by absorbing the impact of the shot thus reducing or stopping penetration these vests are reinforced with ballistic plates inserted into the vest. These plates can be made of metal or ceramic and can be used with a soft vest providing additional protection against rifle rounds and metallic components. Ballistic vests use layers of very strong fibers to catch and deform a bullet, mushrooming it into a dish shape, spreading its force over a large portion of the vest fiber. The vest absorbs the energy from the deforming bullet, bringing it to a stop before it can completely penetrate the textile matrix. Some layers may be penetrated, but as the bullet deforms, the energy is absorbed by larger and larger fiber area. Alright, well I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.